In the last clip, I showed you how we could take two of our sets of scan data to register them using the targets. Let's have a wee look at what we need to do to register the other sets. If we want to continue to use this registration, the first thing we need to do actually is unfreeze the registration. Now it won't actually let us do this because we've created model spaces. Now, going to freeze, maybe sure, and now it's let us unfreeze. The constraints are still here, and we can still view the interim results. Not going to save that. So we can now add the other scout worlds. So we now have all of our worlds here. We can actually preview these. Put in model spaces. Preview, for example, one and five together. Look at all of the different scan worlds added in. We might want to register all of these together. What we can use to help us is the Cloud Constraints Wizard, which allows us to select pairs of worlds to constrain and register. Station 1 and Station 2 have already been done with the points, so that's already ticked for us. We can try and register everything with everything else. So we can't register something with itself. We might decide that some of this is going to be redundant. So we've already got one and two. Do we need to also do one and two, one and three, one and five, two and one, two and three, two and five, and so on? Do we really need all of those pairings? Get better scans if we do. So let's have a go and see how we do this. So we're going to be offered a pair of scans at a time. So this is one and five. The first challenge is we need to pick part of the building that's visible in both scans. So I'm going to choose the multi-point picker. Right. I'm going to try this quick roughly just now and then we can zoom in and see if I've actually got three appropriate points. Normally we want to zoom in a lot closer. I think our points can be within about 15 centimetres and it should be okay. So we want to Double check that's actually roughly the same point, so it's in the corner of that pillar. And you can see that white point is indeed at the same of both. Door frames are quite good to use. We can see actually in these scans that doors themselves are not so good because doors have a habit of opening and closing. But on this door frame, this point there, and that's the same door frame there. And again, let's zoom around and just check. That's quite a bit of a miss there, so you, know, you obviously want to be a bit closer in. So we can go to multi-pick mode if we click on the point again, we'll actually deselect it and try and get it back on the door. And again, so multi-pick mode, we can remove the point where we actually want it to be. And now, you can see that's really at the top corner of the door frame, and that's at the top corner of the door frame. So, and we want to find a third point when we were trying to avoid picking three points in a line or in a plane. So we want this point to perhaps be this one over here on the left might be good, and maybe a bit lower down. So. Let's just see if there is a point for here that will do it. The corner of this window, let's be able to target. Corner of the window, and corner of the window. To constrain, it immediately takes us to the next pair of worlds that it wants us to constrain. And again, because we've got a different view here, 
actual points we want to pick will be different. Now this was clearly taken up in the balcony and over the atrium, so we've got a lot of common points in this space. There's going to be lots and lots of points to pick. Well, we have now three of these to go. I'm going to carry on picking points and constraint pairs. Catch you in a minute. Okay, I've tried to match five and three one. And here, because there's an opposite end of the building, there is an overlap, but it's quite hard to find three points not in a plane that are actually quite good uh, in good comparison. So I'm actually going to skip this one. Let's go to the next pair. And then pick lots of pairs of points. Going to do my registration. It's going to try and do more matches. And it's trying to match up the, the worlds that haven't been done before. Actually, it's going at quite a fair pace. What do I have cloud constraints? Of our constraints lists, and we can see each pair here. We've got one, two, one, three, one and five, two and three, two and five, five and three. So that should be all of our constraints. We did our registration, and let's see, we create scan world and freeze registration, and close. And then have our scan world, which has remember this one called scan world one, that was actually scan world three part one. And we can create model space and create model space view. From this. And now we can see we've got space. Places like here, where there's in one scanner, not the other. We've got a lot more of the upstairs data. Uh, so we've got there were two scans from the ground floor of the lobby. There was one scan up here, and you can see we've got all the first floor data as well. And as we move around, we also took one scan here in the entrance hall. And we can see that that data has also been merged in quite nicely. So we've got all of these now in one world view. Perfect.